Hey guys, welcome. Today we're making filet mignon with potatoes, mashed potatoes, Dutch style. So I will show you what I all have gathered. I've gathered a complete collection. I'm in the mood today. I was a bit ill, catch a cold. Thank God no corona, so I'm healthy. And I'm exi excited about all the good food that I will eat to stay healthy. So let's start. The filet mignon. For the Americans, sorry to disappoint. I know you guys like large portions. As you can see, there's blood around it. But for the guys who knows around the steak, this is usual and this is good. Let it rest for about 30 minutes. We have the potatoes here. Red onions, two of them. Some tomatoes. Walnut cut. Chives, shivs. Little bit of mustard. Some milk, garlic, meat bouillon, pickles, peppers, some bacon, some radish, cream butter, and salad, honey, white wine, vinegar, and of course, salt, pepper, olive oil. You know it. Let's start. Listen, guys, when you work with steak, make sure you clean your hands regularly it's really important when you work with meat every every time you have to clean your hands but this is really important with the steak it's raw you know it can affect the other food but this is high quality meat make sure it's organic don't buy cheap shit and it's not that expensive so steak is considered like a luxury food don't do it too much if you uh don't do it too much regularly because uh, it can cost. But if you want to enjoy sometimes, it's good to eat steak. We turn it. Once again, for the American people who are watching, you guys are the masters in steak, Argentinian as well. I'm not trying to master here. I can make a good steak, but this is just for regular guys who want to see how I cook meals. I can cook. You've seen some videos of mine. But there are really masters in the level of griddle. And I respect that and I watch that and we learn from each other. So if you have feedback for me, please do. The most important thing about steak is the room temperature and to let it rest also afterwards okay we start with the potatoes because they take long usually I let the outside stay but this time we're going to cut it and that's a shitload of work but with this with this little thing it's way easier you just do it like this You can see, it's easy to understand, right? You just cut it from all sides. I will not fast forward this movie to make it look interesting. It's fucking simple. You just cut it. Make sure it's golden afterwards. So here. So. This work is quite productive, so just keep cutting. I'm going to do some boiled water. And at the meantime, I cut them into pieces. Big pieces. Yeah, good recipes takes time. Easy recipes can also be nice, but preferably I like the longer ones. 
And this is nothing compared to like Indian recipes or longer which you where you make a stew or something like that. That takes a really long time. Okay. Big boil of uh, hot water, but don't be fooled. This will take a huge amount of time. So we use a cover to make the process faster. In the meantime, the steak is resting and we're cutting. Hope you guys are doing well today. Please react. I want to ask the viewers to react where they're from, what they like for kind of food, please engage with me. Send me dishes that I can Google and try to make. I don't mind doing that. I want to test new things as well. But please be aware. I live in the Netherlands, so usually the things that are uh, easy to find and with good quality uh, are the, the stuff from people um, who live here like a lot. So for example, if you want to try to find like Guatem food from Guatemala, you're better off in the States. Here it will be really hard to find South American food. But for example, we have a lot of people from Chile or from uh, Spain, we, ha we have that. So, and we have a lot of Turkish Moroccan people, so I have a lot of dishes from that country. Here you can see it's cut nicely. So we have to wait for the boiled water. At the meantime, I will continue cutting other stuff as well. Side. and the others as well. I don't want to make these movies that I fast forward too much. I show you like a perfect recipe in the end. I don't show the flaws. I don't like that. I understand it's nice for the viewers to see and it's satisfying to watch. And I have respect for everyone who shows a healthy meal, but I want to help you and give you like lessons about the ingredients. How to, cook, how, to, how to cook healthy and have a good talk and engage with my crowd. I like to talk with you guys, know what you think. Where are you from? What do you do? What kind of dishes do you like? Do you cook yourself? Do you want to learn to cook yourself? Do you want to share a video on my channel? That's also possible. Send it to me. I'm not an ego guy who's trying to make something out of this. For myself no I'm there for you guys as well share it show me your dish I want to learn from you guys soon I have a friend coming over as well he's really enthusiastic to cook he actually learned me the game and uh, he likes to cook himself as well his father had a restaurant in Amsterdam one of the best shawarma it was a grill room actually, but he's good with meat, but specialized in Italian food. And what is quite weird in the Netherlands, like people here like sauce a lot. So the pastas are not authentically Italian. You know, if you ever visited Italy, I am a really a food lover, so you have to visit Italy for that. You will see that the Italians there, they cook with minimum sauce in the pastas. And my friend does that the same. He makes the real aglio olio, real carbonara, the real dishes. I don't use a garlic crusher. I just use this. This or a mortar. For this, you can cut. On the weekend side, I will do the longer recipes. Probably I will make this weekend beef bouillon, good dish, French dish by the way, you've seen it in my videos in the shorts, it's also a good dish to have that. And like I said earlier, garlic is good for the blood pressure.
Here we go. Fresh cut garlic. Just one more time. There we go. Water is boiling. Watch out and close. Let's cut this into pieces. Cut the other part. Throw this area away. Tomato is, it can crush really quick. So you just start like this and then do like this. Start with the bow and then, and then cut. You see it. So many veggies. This makes me feel like someone working at a farm. Cut them once, cut them twice. I did some prepping because guys this is a lot of cut work. You want to have a fast dish, don't do this. The crops. Cut the end and cut it like this. Doesn't matter if it's big, it's all about the salad and you measure yourself how much you need. Mix a little bit with light and dark. Without a salad guys, here it is. And what do we do? Throw some onion in it. I know it's a lot, but you know, what's life without an onion? The radish. And I'm talking about the food substance. I'm not calling my wife now. The capers and pickles. One, two. This is for four persons. Same with the white wine vinegar. One, two. Salt. pepper mustard I didn't have a lot so this is enough in this it's not like a grill you don't hear the sizzling sound immediately we will bake it six to eight minutes. You can add something else to it, like turkey usually is a good substance instead of a substitute instead of bacon or just no bacon. This gives a add just a little bit of extra flavor to it, but it's not essential. That's the end of the phase of the bacon. This was about six to eight minutes, it depends how you want. I think the bacon is good. You can see the fat, right? What you do, throw it on a piece of paper like this, usual, usual kitchen paper, extend it, then put it back. Not a good part, part. Look at this butter, it's a lot, I know. But the recipe is French slash American. They like this, their shit with butter. With the filet mignon and the bacon fat. So you can see it melting now. And let's go. Depends how you like your steak. I like them medium rare. And just leave them alone. 
Leave them be. And keep adding the butter for extra flavor. Just keep adding. You can see I put a lot of butter, but it will get like, it's like almost boiling the steak, but in hot butter. And what we add, we add the meat bouillon, add it to it as a flavor. garlic in the end and then you add it to the meat.